Hey, before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. Thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. Hey and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing, it's me Daniel, happy that you're here today. Today I'm going to talk about challenges that you or myself are having when working remotely as a software tester. I mean, remote is here to stay. I mean, there were some companies out there that were working fully remote already before pandemic, but the pandemic really pushed and accelerated the whole remote work environment. And especially if you work remotely as a software tester, there are some challenges that you have to face and to tackle in order to be more efficient, sufficient in your role and also to be more happy. So that's why I made the video for you today. Let's get started. So remote software testing. There are some numbers. Between 2005 and 2017, remote work increased by almost 160% in the US alone. And this was before pandemic. I haven't found any numbers like pre uh, post pandemic, but it's just increasing. Yeah. And this was before pandemic. Many companies changed the way of working with the pandemic said, okay, we don't need offices, we reduce office space, people can work from wherever they are and stuff like that. That's cool. This gives a lot of benefits for people, no long commutes, more time with the family, more time for doing some activities and so forth and so forth. Depending on your life situation, this can be beneficial or not. Yeah. So as I said before, remote work is the new norm for many companies, even though there's like a slightly trend in the industry right now and in, in, in end of 2024 that um, companies say, okay, we would like to have people back in the offices working more towards a hybrid model and stuff like that. But even though then you still have like some portion of remote work included, which adds to the challenges as well that I would like to talk about for you today. Yeah. However, it sounds good in the first place. But that's why I made the video. It comes also with some disadvantages. Myself included, I'm working remotely now for four years. Um, and I, I like working remote, but I do miss sometimes offices and co-workers. And yeah, but that's the situation we have to handle and or you have to change it. So it has many benefits, as I already said, but it comes with the challenges. And that's why I made the video. So first challenge that I would like to talk about for you today is lack of communication and I'm not talking about lack of communication in terms of Slack, Teams, other tools, email, wikis. This is going to happen. Um, for me, it's more the lack of direct communication here, right? So to really talk to people face to face. And I think there is a second challenge in here as well. This is something that's sometimes lacking. I mean, we can communicate all the time on various channels, as I just mentioned, but it's it's always on a direct communication. Sometimes it's the, if you work in different time zones, it's you write something and you have to wait another day or half a day to get response, and this can f can feel um, can feel odd. And this is a big challenge because you may stuck in your work, right? Challenge number two, which is tightly connected, are the real life interactions. Yes, it's. I mean, I have faced it myself. I mean, I have a family, I have, a, I have an, an own office where I can work in and stuff like that. But um, I have a lot of conversations on a daily basis on this on the meetings that you can do online with video and stuff like that. But it's not the same thing like as a real life interaction. Yeah, going to a co worker and say, Hey, you have time for a cup of coffee, I would like to discuss a problem with you. This is not something that you do on, on Slack or on other tools. Yeah, you can do it. But it's not the same thing. You don't have this the same feeling of it, right? It's just like, okay, you, you call someone, you talk about the problem, you hang up, that's it. There's not, nothing else going around. Like imagine before, like when you go into the meeting room, you walk together to the meeting, you're already talking, hey, have you seen the last um, last night soccer match against da da da? And or, uh, what, what, what's with your plan for, for the weekend? And things like all this real life interactions, social interactions are not there. And it's, this is a really tough challenge because if you're not having like a, a stable environment, a stable, family situation, you might end up working alone at, in your apartment, in your home the whole day. And you don't have real life interactions. We are humans 
we are like people who like to interact socially and that's important nothing that you should miss out and it poses a lot of mental health risks on your shoulder so really if you feel something like that feels odd do something against it since i'm talking about remote working software testing challenges i have a fantastic video sponsor for you today's sponsor is the tool quality plus test management for jira with the help of Quality Plus, test management is getting super lean and easy, especially in a remote working setup. The tool centralizes test management in Jira to help remote team members or distributed teams to stay aligned. The plugin for Jira is super easy to install via the Atlassian Marketplace and you can just start writing your test cases right after the installation process is done. You can plan, execute tests with minimal effort so that teams can stay focused. At the same time, the plugin offers great bug recreation and reporting features to speed up the time to market. In the test case execution, software testers or developers can create bugs on the fly while they execute the test. They don't need to leave the context and focus where they are. Each step can be marked with a different status. In case of a failed step, it's super easy to create a new bug or link the failed steps to an existing issue. This is a huge speed improvement for teams during the execution phase. With Quality Plus, teams have everything they need inside their Jira workflow. Check the video description down below to get a free trial access and a 15% discount to Quality Plus today. Give it a try, you will not regret it. And now back to the main video. Uh, challenge number three, the technical setup. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound like a big challenge, but it still is. I mean, some some don't have like stable internet connections, for example, or like external monitors, the microphone, the room setup is not perfect, the lighting is not ideal and stuff like that. So really the technical setup makes a huge difference and is a challenge, especially if your company is, don't, uh, is not supporting you in terms of technical equipment, like cameras, lights, uh, microphones, uh, desks, chairs, stuff like that, computers, keyboard, mouse, whatever you would like to work with, that's a challenge that you have to solve and with money in the end, right? That's that's the thing. Challenge number four, the time zones. Definitely time zones is a big topic. If you work on, let's say, in Europe and your co-workers are like in, in the US or in Australia, you have a big delay in the time, right? In the time zones. And this, this poses a lot of challenges. So you have to really, really be, if you have good processes in place that you can uh, rely on in terms of how you document things, how you communicate with each other. Because if you don't have them, it's a huge challenge. It will be a mess. Yeah? Writing something on Slack or on other tools and then wait like six hours if some, until somebody is re replying, that's a tough challenge. Yeah? So that's why you as a company has to do something for it. Um, challenge number five is also something between people is cross-cultural differences. I mean, that's something that you, that I feel already like when I was working in offices, if you have people coming from all over the world together in one space, you have different cultures. And I really love the different um, cultural aspects in teams because the people bring so many aspects from their cultures, from their backgrounds, from their beliefs. But um, this is already a challenge when to, to, to solve when you work together in an office, but doing the same thing remotely is even harder. So you have to invest time to learn more about their cultures, talk with people about the situations and learn about also different cultures to learn like how do they react, how do they respond to bad feedback and stuff. All these kind of topics is really important when you work remotely and not only for software testers. Um, challenge number six, I mean, it's obvious remote collaboration. That's also tough. Like, I mean, it's technically possible to do like some pair programming, pair testing, share the screen, share the keyboard, stuff like that. But it's still, it's a challenge. You have to have a good and a similar technical setup in order to have a better collaboration. It works good between one-to-one, um, -one, but one-to-many, there are some challenges that you that you have to tackle. Yeah. Um, Challenge number seven, which goes also similar work into the time zone thing, asynchronous work. If you work asynchronously across different time zones, maybe uh, on different tasks, you have to have a process in place how you document things, how you work together and how you work asynchronously. I mean, there are many companies doing this already. One company is coming to my mind is GitLab. They have like a public, um, let's say, workbook, how they work together, how they have processes in place. You can also Google it. Um, or search your other um, platform, uh, other search engine, I wanted to say, 
uh, to, to search about GitLab, how they work together remotely, um, but it's a big challenge. Yeah. Um, challenge number eight is incomplete documentation that, that goes um, um, similar hand in hand in the working processes, but in case you have like a, um, a mature product, a mature software development process, and you don't invest enough time into the, um, the documentation and it's not complete, that's bad. That's not good because imagine you have somebody new to the team and he or she is sitting somewhere alone in his or her office or apartment and the onboarding process is not ideal, then an incomplete documentation is really bad because it cannot help the person get faster onto the job. And, and that's not good. So in, really you have to invest a lot of time in documenting things. And even if it's a little tiny thing, imagine you talk with one-to-one -one with, with a direct um, peer on the things to decide something, you have to document it somewhere that the rest of the team will notice it. And that with documentation, I don't mean to write it into any like of the conversation tools like Slack, Teams or whatever. No, you have to have a space being at a wiki where you document decisions because that's important. Otherwise, you will leave people behind. Yeah. Um, and challenge number one is you are the only one. What is that meant? Really? I mean, you're not the only one. Or you're the only one is you're the only one working remotely. That's what it meant. I mean, I've seen companies and teams and also people that were the only ones working remote. So imagine you as a software tester or even as a software developer can be like for any other discipline. You work alone. Uh, you are the only one working remote. So you have a team, let's say five developers sitting in one office space, talking the whole day together about technical things, changes and stuff. And you as a software tester, you're the only one working remotely. How does it feel? Not good. That's a tough challenge. I think that's the biggest challenge. And if you have this situation in your company, it's not ideal. Yeah, if you're the only one working remotely, you're the only the one left behind. Ah, oh, we missed to call Daniel in the meeting. Ah, okay. Who's going to update him? Ah, oh, we missed to inform him. Mm -hmm. Or the people go on, go for lunch together, or they go for dinner together, and these kind of topics. This is a tough challenge. And to be honest, if I would be the only one working remotely, this would not be the ideal working environment for me because I would always feel left behind. So that's why I usually say, okay, either go all in, you're completely remote working company, no offices, everybody is still having the same situation, then I think it's ideal. Hybrid mode can work out if you have like good rules, rules and processes in place, how to handle the situations. But um, having only like, let's say satellite people sitting somewhere alone working remotely, it's not going to work out. Yeah, I don't like it. And I think you too. And I think with that, I'm, I'm done with the video already. So nine remote working challenges and the challenges are not really, I mean, they're tightly connected to software testing because that was my main focus for sure. But I think you can already relate as a software engineer, as a product manager, as a scrum master, if you face uh, a similar working environment. Let me know your comments in your comments down below. What challenges did you face as a remote worker? I would love to hear them. And it would be also really cool to share them with others. As always, like it share it and subscribe it to support me spread the word about the challenge that would be really cool and have a great day and see you next time bye bye